Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 my dad. Walk on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. Just Google us. It'll pop up everywhere. But if you want to see our visuals, you got to hop over to our YouTube channel. You can see all our visuals there. We drop content every day. But don't only subscribe. We need your membership. How you do so is under each and every video, including this one underneath. Click the, des the description section. And click the link. It takes you straight how you can go ahead and be a member. There we do exclusive. What I mean exclusive? I mean exclusive content every day. Thank you in advance. Man, hey, man, listen, man. We got a special guest in here today. He am don't I need that, no introduction. He don't need no introduction. <laughs> I mean, you know, iconic when it comes to our culture, man. This guy right here, man, is a a guy who I've watched, man, for many, many years. I mean, I'm old. You see the I gray. I think I was watching him before you, though. Many, many years. You see the gray. She's younger than me, guys. Uh -oh. Listen, uh -oh. I'm a big fan of this guy, man. Mr. Brandon T. Jackson, man. Thank you for everything that you do, bro. I'm just a humble servant that wore a dress. Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> We're not starting this like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm starting. Like that. <laughs> no, man, listen, 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 listen man, you're listen, you, 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 know, you know what's beautiful about everything in, in life is that when you know who you are, nothing can shake you. You know, and sometimes when it do shake you, you got to get back on your horse. You know, get you got to you got to ride out, and that's what I love it. That's real, man. Like, you got to you got to come to a, 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 a podcast. Boss come on talk, now, boss with, talk with a one. suit with no shirt. That's stop playing. Like, where your shirt at? <laughs> where is my shirt? Say, man, come I on, love now. it, man. Come Just on, appreciate somebody. you for coming through, Mister Maker. Let's get in this business just a little bit. Yes. So I know you were born and raised. Was it Bloomfield? Um, I was born and raised in uh, Deer, well, I was born in Dearborn, Michigan. Dearborn, Michigan. And then I was I was raised in Detroit and West Bloomfield. Okay, that's Both. okay. Cool. So Detroit is the hood, mm -hmm. right? As we know, for for the most part, now it's gentrified. But when I was coming up, it was the hood. I grew up in in Palmer Woods, which is kind of like the dignitary. So I'm like the Fresh Prince of Detroit. And then my dad he moved us to uh, West Bloomfield, which is like the Beverly Hills of of of, of, of Michigan. How old were you when you moved? Uh, 15. Oh, wow. so you so are I'm a able hybrid. to experience. I'm a day walker. Right. So. You know what a day walker means? Like you have vampire, I'm uh -huh. half hood, I'm half suburb. <laughs> I know, I'm a corporate thug. You understand what I mean? <laughs> Was it hard for you to adjust when you first made that move? Oh my God, my school was so white, they put my picture in every grade in the yearbook so the school can look diverse. <laughs> you <laughs> was that one black guy We the play black teams, they trying to get me to start. I'm like, bro, uh -huh. we gonna lose. <laughs> I can't dunk like them. I, I can touch the rim, though. I can yeah. touch the rim, though. Yeah. Man. Wow. I just really, like I said, man, I see you. You started it off right. You know, I got, I'm going to dive in, you know, oh, like, gonna go ahead yeah, because I, I really like, like your name, It you know, it carries weight. You praise know, God. Listen, man, I, I, praise God, man. 43 million uh, 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 views right mm -hmm. now for Shannon Shaw. Yeah. Uh, that means your name has been mentioned <laughs> 43 I was so million happy. times. I was so happy that I Say, was dissed. Mike Epps was upset. <laughs> I'm like, thank you, Cap, for dissing me. I'm like, thank you. You could have called my name. Call my name, please. So I just it's really. Amazing. I, I mean, you know, because I called Faze on that day, as yeah, you know. I, know. I was like, man, they done call your name by two times on here. He said, <laughs> all right, I'm going to call you back. He called me back. What What'd you say? I said, bro, it's still going on right now, nigga. You know how many calls I got? <laughs> bro. Yo, Cat said, I'm like, yo, let's go. My ticket sold out. Thank you, Cat. Right. And the Dark Matter Tour. I love you guys. Oh, man. Shout like, out to Cat Williams. Man, for I that. just, like I said, when I look at something like that, you know, you, you got, God has blessed me. I'm dealing with a lot of comedians. I yeah. promise you, that's what I'm dealing with. I see it. And, and so when I think about, when I thought about you, I was like, man, I'm finna call. I'm, he coming to what? This ain't number God. You know, that's how I roll. Come like, on now. Oh, this ain't number God. Come I mean, on now. He coming here and I'm a man to love God. So this gonna work. So I turn around and uh, I, I hit you up. But the thing I really was looking at was like, dang, I wonder how you feel about him mentioning his name and after all these years. Because you mentioned his name Back when he was, you thought he was heckling you. Yeah, I thought he was hating that on me. That girl, I don't know who she was, but she was trying to stop you from talking. I don't know. Cause, cause, <laughs> cause, oh, that was that. that who that, was that? that, 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 that bruh, that's, <laughs> that, that, that's the one I just called. Oh, <laughs> that was her? 
Yeah, she, was trying to, she was trying to protect me because mm-hmm. I'm 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 not I'm not a slave. Okay, I'm you a don't free know how to man. censor. I'm a free man. I talk what I say, and if it gets me in trouble, it's like, yo, that's that's between God and and, and society. But the, the thing is, this cat never spoke to me directly. Okay, excuse me. So I took it as a heckle. Mm. He's being immediate. I'm Brandon. You shouldn't have wore the dress. I'm like, nigga, could you call me directly and tell me? You know I me mean? at the time. Yeah, I know. So I'm 25 years old. You know, uh, doing a film with Martin. I'm like, why is he so mad? That I'm doing a film with Martin. He ain't know me. That's what I thought. <laughs> but he was trying to warn me. I know. He was trying to say Brandon. But the way he says it, because every time I say K, he's like, Brandon T. Jackson, I'm not talking to you anymore. <laughs> I'm like, what did I do? And you know what you did. I'm like, Nick, could you sit me down and tell me the actual history of what we call buck breaking, of yeah. we call, what we call emasculating men in society? And shout out to all communities. You know, we're not going to bash any communities. When we're talking about heterosexual, Sexual men, and we're talking about men that that take care of families. These are things that we have to understand that the the the, the psychological psychologically on us as actors, we have to deal with so much, you know. And we don't want to feel like we're bashing people. What we also want to do is be true to who we are. And it's 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 it's, it's tough because it's like when something compromises your spirituality or your or what you feel your manhood, mm. you know, or what you identify as. You see what I'm saying? So I, you can't. If someone tell me I identify as this, and you challenge them, you're you're now. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, you're, you're combating the identification. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And they always say, "What's well, acting? It's acting." Okay. Cool. Great. I'm gonna tell you something about acting. Robert Downey Jr. was really black in that scene. I seen it. That he came late to the set one time. He's like, you know how we always late. I said, like, No, I nigga, I don't know how we always late. What is? <laughs> He was black for he's real. He going all the way in on this one. Mentally, great actors live it. He studied yeah. it. Great actors live what we say. So yeah. you want me to live a lifestyle that I'm not uh, accustomed to, I should say. Wow. So now I'm living lives I'm not accustomed to. And to play it, it's like those things could come off uh, uh, very uh, psychologically damaging where you have to get uh, therapy, uh, mental help, mm-hmm. because you're living the lifestyle of something you're not accustomed to don't they, call that, hold on, don't they call that method acting or I'm something a, I, like that yeah. I'm, a, I'm a method because, actor right because that's Columbus why I got Short. Hennessy in my cut right now because <laughs> <laughs> Columbus I'm Short acting as a comedian <laughs> doing because Columbus Short he mentioned that on the yeah, show he did, he did. and he was saying that in the beginning when he was acting that's what he would do but then that's not healthy because then some people don't know how to come back out of that character when yeah. it's time to go home let me tell you something about method acting let me tell you something about Leonardo DiCaprio Say he said I don't act I channel. You understand what that means? That's 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 a uh, a spiritual energy that people don't understand. Right. When you channel a character, you know what I mean. Every <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, I know this might be a soundbite. Say so I watch how I say it. Uh, my counterpart, my partner, my uh, beautiful fifty percent wife, who I'm getting back with uh, right now, told me that I'm very emotional. Back in the day, not now. I got it under control. I'm like, I'm not so. I was never emotional like this. I'm like, okay, maybe I'm. I'm Big Mama. What the fuck? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a. You know what I'm saying? It's because you when you play certain roles, if you if you if you tap into those roles, wow, mm-hmm. then you become them. That's good. And they follow you. When I oh, when okay. I said I was broke on lottery ticket, I was broke for a season in my life. But I took on the oppression of the people and I spoke how we felt and that came on me. So I said, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. So when Kat said what he said, I was so in, in, engulfed and loved it because what he's saying is true. You can't and you can't just it, that's what people think. You're so slick. Certain entities think they're so slick when they say, OK, I want you to play this. This is we've had a problem with uh, the Trinity Day thing. He lived that. Wow. He said, he said that he couldn't come back from it. Really? I don't I his don't wife. Know. That was a whole thing. Right. He had to like repro. Okay, look at he Matthew McConaughey. Look, look at Matthew McConaughey. Mm-hmm. Right. He did that movie uh, Dallas. Mm-hmm. Right. I remember that. It's gonna sound so bad. And it was a sound bite. You said <laughs> the right way because I know how, how people edit. So I'm gonna say it the right way. 
the comedian version with me will say, if Cat was, I'm gonna say it in Cat's voice. Ever since, uh, 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 ever since Matthew McConaughey did the movie Dallas, his neck has never been the same. <laughs> But I'll say it in Cat's voice. That's hard. If though. I say it in my voice, they're going to be like, oh, it's Brandy Jackson in it. Because I'm a dramatic actor I'm, and I'm also a comedian. So what I say, and I'm also a spiritual entity, so what I say holds so much weight sometimes mm -hmm. that they it, it, it shocks the matrix so yeah. much. Yeah. Where they're like, oh, you know, he ain't got a shirt on. I haven't seen him since Big Mamas and lottery ticket. <laughs> so they, it's crazy. Yeah, they have this like, Persona, the chasing shadows. What? Okay, when you seen, um, okay, when you when you seen that cat had said that though, you, where were you at and when you first heard about it? Cause man, I was asleep. Somebody woke you up. Yeah, he got calls. I got called, man. I got called. I mean, he said, uh, "What did he say exactly?" I can't no, here, here, here's what's funny. He's like, <laughs> "Here's what's funny about those things." I told Brandon D. Jackson not to wear the dress. But then I've told them to go get Brandy Jackson to wear the dress. I'm, yes. Like, yes. I'm like, did I just get, yes, did I I just get pimped? Uh huh. He told, tell me, I said, he told me not to wear the dress, but then he said, I told them to go get Brandy Jackson. That's who y'all want. I'm like, why are you going to refer me to the devil? And when I don't, that, don't refer me to the devil because I know you because you would have did it. I'm, like, I'm 23, nigga, 25, whatever. See, when I saw that, I'm like, okay, so was it be, be because of him why you got that role? I have, no, you know, it's funny. I thought the same thing. I'm like, yo, you should have called me if you're in a meeting with uh, agencies talking about, you know, Brandon T. Jackson, you go get him. That's what y'all want. And they're like, hmm, we should get Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm, like, I, I, I'm like, okay, but the movie, I ain't gonna lie, I enjoyed the movie, bro. It's a good movie. I'm not gonna no, sit no, here okay. and play with y'all and act like I didn't like the movie because I'm gonna be real with you. I'm a Martin fan too. I'm so, a Martin fan. Okay, I about and this. I did not feel we, like we watching, gotta be hold on, here. hold on. Watching the movie from a pe female perspective, looking at you wearing a dress, I did not feel like okay, he's you know bisexual, he's gay, he's this, he's that, mm -hmm. or whatever. I did not feel that. No, me neither. I'm looking at you like, yeah, he trying to get in on them girls. That's what he trying to get. <laughs> he's trying to get closer to them girls. So everyone says that, right? So here, here's here's what I say about the, the Big Mama's house. I'm a Martin fan. Mm -hmm. Me too. If Martin sits you down <laughs> at a Ruth's Chris with a big diamond ring on saying, you could be like me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you want to make five, 10, 20 million a movie? Ooh, move. At 24, 25, 24 is when I shot at 25, then when it came out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's always weird to me when I do uh, ages in my, uh, my, my um, you know, shooting, because shooting, they, they, they edit it, it comes out. So when you hear that, you like, okay, it's Martin Lawrence. Yeah. You know what I mean? You gonna say no to Martin and the rules, Chris? I, got, I'm like, no. I mean, I'm mean steak like, steak, right. not doing it. And then we gonna do this movie. <laughs> 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 then we gonna eat some with that nigga. ring, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, you like I said, man. I, I, I know that you were younger though, but if you had it to do all over again, you saying you no, would not, I, I, I you wouldn't. wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't, but I also wouldn't bash any other communities because God is dealing with every community, and I, I don't wanna, I don't want anybody to feel that. Um, my standpoint on on my spirituality is is the all be of their journey. Yeah. Because and I, I know that sounds very vague and like, you know, uh 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 pandering I would say, but I would say because I, God's dealing with me in my journey. Y'all just met me over there. Yeah. I'm getting Jameson shots over yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh talking to this uh lady over here about messages God has given me. You cannot say that God can't use any any community on what he wants to prove for his example. And that's why I don't bash other community. I'm saying I won't do it again. Yeah. I'm not gonna do it again. Yeah. But at that age, where I'm were just you? I'm not gonna do it. I where were you stupid. spiritually though? At that point, 24, 25. Well, I was born in I strayed. I was born in I know, because your mom and dad preachers. Yes, and my grandfather. And your grandfather. And my great grandfather. I loved when I researched your and grandfather. And preachers' kids is bad. Sometimes I said what I said. Preacher's kids is bad. Listen, we go. I to, had some friends. We go to club. We go to strip club. We go to the gospel strip club. That's <laughs> 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 I told you, see, I know you called it when you was younger because of that. They, they put their clothes on at the gospel <laughs> church. They got choir robes. No, man, but I know it was tough. I know it was tough growing up. Being How, how was that pressure, though? Well, like, I challenged religion. I challenged every spirituality, and I, I just wanted to When see. you were younger, you did? Because you had to no. do whatever your parents said when you were a kid. Um, When I got around uh, 18 is okay. where I was like, you know, why does God always need money? 
You know, I still it, ask that question. Right? Is that your first question that you asked when you started thinking about it? Yeah. Okay. The first question I asked was, why does God always need money? Mm -hmm. You know, like if he's God, he doesn't care about these slave notes, right? Yeah. That we, uh, we all ask this question. Everybody. Everybody. But then you realize that we're in a system of capitalism. And in time that God is dealing with America or any other country in the system that he allowed to be set up, this is the only effective way to get out the word. It's what, this is what preachers want to say. The only way I can get the word out is if y'all pay. You know, it, it sounds bad because no matter what happens, everybody's asking for money. You know, every listen. I'm gonna tell you right now. Whether you, that's at, right. You that's ready? Right. You ready? I'm gonna go down it. Everybody always have a problem with religion and money, but then you don't have a problem with strip strippers and money. I can agree with that. Okay, for sure. So let's take it like this. Look at lessons of evil because we so mad when preachers ask for money, right? Even if they're righteous, not the fake. Like I'm, I'm. I got a movie I'm writing about this, but they're doing something behind the scenes. Let's just say. Everything in America cost money, right? Mm -hmm. To get the good messages of God out, you have to push it and push the money. You have to, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You have to, uh, uh, people got to be paid. You got the, the staff, the deacons, the everything. The Say anything else. The bills. The building. Mm -hmm. This is a bank structure built by America, not by the church. Right. It's not built by the Almighty's kingdom. In the Almighty's kingdom, there's no money. Yeah. And this is where the scam come in. Tell everybody to work for free. They can't. Exactly. Because well, they got to pay their own bills. Exactly. I, I got to say this, though. There are so many different ways that so many different people look at what they read and how they are due to the word of God, right? Well, you we at, when you think about like, and, like, and like Krell Flo like Dollar, that. he comes back and say, I shouldn't have never even done the tithe thing like that. I should have, I want to restructure what I'm well, doing. Well, because he's reading oh, no. the actual scriptures, but that was That's in, right. but that was in I Israel. I know what you're about to say. That was in the land. That's right. In the land when you're free and, you, and there's no dictation of how you feel, the, you, 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 you set the standard of the law, which means the law said that God says this, bring this plants and whatever but the law is under democracy which is a roman empire yeah. you can't you can't it's like you're trying to be righteous in a wicked society the best you can you think about it man like i always tell people there's a it, and that's where you, the promise when, land when you in. look at second corinthians and you go into 9 10 and 11 and 12 verses i mean chapters you start to see where the people were being manipulated and they were having money taken from them mm -hmm. but they wasn't able to give. And so Paul was saying, y'all let people come in and take money from y'all when y'all wasn't able to give. But the Bible, now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Only thing got, I'm saying got, is, basically, the Spirit should allow you to know when people are able to give and when they're not, when you're a leader. That's all. I, I think highly about that because some people, I've been to places, she know how I am. I'll go there. If it's something don't it look feels right, like a tax. I would tell them, like, this, this, these people shouldn't be paying you. They don't even have the money. I have been taught, I taught at homeless shelters where people were taking money from people. They were trying to give me money. I'm like, I got a home. You know what I'm saying? I'm being <laughs> yeah, real. I, was, yeah. I had to tell them because it was other people that was coming in. So I felt Paul on that because I seen that happen and I'm like, they shouldn't be taking money from people who are not able to give even though they got a little some some. You know what I'm saying? But then those people think if you don't take it, I'm not going to be blessed. Cause well, they, let's look at it like this. Let's look at this. Every nation that uh, is, is, is founded on, um, how do I say this the right way without getting in trouble? <laughs> this man gonna get in trouble every time he talk anyway. No, no, because I know how to talk. I, I know how to say it, because I'm, I'm knowledgeable when it comes to scriptures. What, 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 what I'm saying is that there's no kingdom of God on the earth that's, that's putting a law of God on the earth fully. Democracy is controlling the narrative. Thank you, Father. It's controlling the narrative of everything. So, in the in the kingdom, is a monarchy, which is Christ is the king, David is the second, right? If you want to talk about scriptures, and then you have the children of Israel, right? So, when you talk about these things, that structure is not in place right now. So now we have to deal with democracy. Which is like, okay, if you were to challenge the Bible, you could say the Bible is, a, is, is, is you won't say it's communist, you won't say it's fascist, you would say the Bible's a monarchy. 
The Bible is a monarchy. The, the kingdom of God is a monarchy, period. We are in a democracy. That's so real. how do you establish your the the message of God to 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 uh, uh thank you, Father, to to um um strive towards the kingdom, as we say, the righteous order, as we say, right? And then do it in a democracy. Those are two different civilization types of, of mindsets. So when you start talking about monarch, uh, mm-hmm. if some right now, they're saying right now, Trump is trying to take over the democracy and become a communist monarchy and uh, 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 he's the king or whatever. That's the big play on Trump. Now think about this. Everything that we fight against in democracy is what the Bible says to do in a mon- in a monarchy. If I'm saying that right, excuse me. Uh, um, am I saying that right? Monar- mm-hmm. uh, monarchy, monarchy. Yeah, right? yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because my, my Detroit accent be coming in. That's no, all love. So, so in, in 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 the kingdom, there's a king. It's called the kingdom. Is a king, and there's twelve el- twenty four elders, right? So that's your senate. That's your your state, right? But they have no vote over the king. If say like Christ the king. Right, we're gonna say Christ. Everyone says Christ is the king, right? Mm-hmm. Somebody's gonna crack the sky and set up a righteous government. It doesn't fit with democracy. No, I get it. And democracy I'm, is 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 a um a a manipulated version of the kingdom. Just so you understand. No, no, I got so, you. So so tithes. You can't do pure ties in a democracy. That's real. I gotta say this. Was that too deep? No, no, it's no. very deep. I want to say no. this to you. Oh, I want to say it's very deep. I gotta say this to oh, you. Oh my God! I that's see why Lil Bow Wow. No, Lil Bow Wow said you was too religious for him. No, you, not, no, 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 no. You left him, but that's not he religious. Wasn't, he wasn't able to understand. He would, would look at that totally as religion. Think about that for me. No, minute. that's socially and political if structures. If a person not understanding that's a lot of stuff, social and political when structures. When it comes to the word of God and stuff, people. A lot of times, shy back because they don't understand. No, no, forget religion. I hate religion. I say that right now. I hate religion. I'm talking about social and political structures. Christ came to. No, set- I agree. No, I give you this. So you understand? I'm not religious. I'm not a religious man. I'm not. I'm talking about social and political structures, right? And when you talk about this, our people, like you said, they'll divert. They think, that's exactly. right. Exactly. That's what I'm telling they'll you. They'll divert Bow Wow, man. And I love Bow. <laughs> like, bro. He you, said it. I but seen it. The rooftop. But then we can't ask for freedom. We got to then, then be a democracy. It's fine. I'm with it. Let's go. Chest out. Back in Hollywood. Woo. <laughs> How did you feel when you knew he was like feeling a way like, like saying, oh, this, you know. No, he's there, right. He said, I'll never build another lottery too because. Hey man, we Brandon, just the Brandon, that. Brandon and Brandon and Brandon and went another way. So you well, too, too religious. We about to buy the rest. So I, when he I, said I, that, I, what did you think? I don't know because I wouldn't. I, I wasn't mad at it because I, I know he didn't understand. That's right. What I was saying, and uh, Bow Wow was my friend. We talked. We talked at the BET Awards. And it's, I'm happy you back. And I'm saying, yeah, I'm happy I'm back too. No, it's real. That's real. Like I'm, I'm back I, from what? Back from he had a. I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. I I'm, gotta hear I'm, this. I'm gonna tell you back from. Yeah. The knowledge that I have is getting me from God. Sometimes you can't express it, like you said. When people hear that, it's about religion. Don't say religion, right? Because they don't understand. But um, and this is why white people always buy me. Cause they understand. I understand what they know, and I understand what what everybody, what what people that don't know. It's just common structures, like civilizations. You know, it's 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 like how we with these cameras, a podcast, because we know that on a podcast we can we have to, we, you you got the whole camera set up. This is a structure. That's right. You know, so when you start talking knowledge to people, they're like, man, 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 let's get these bitches. Is that, that's <laughs> all they want? You know I mean, they, 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 you, you don't you know what I'm saying? They that's don't want to hear. It's not even about truth. It's just like the structure. It's like okay, I get up at five a.m. I work out at seven. I eat this, I eat that. It's just structure. When you so talk, what I'm saying, when, when I talk actual structure, and anytime you talk structure in um, uh, society, and this is the frustration you have when you when you when God gives you knowledge, it's a gift. Yeah, but it's also a curse because when you try to relay the uh, knowledge to to uh, people, they 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 tend to look at you as a religious zealot. They tend to look at you as somebody that you, you're better than you, better than them, and you're just trying to get them to see the common sense of life. 
Okay. Well, the thing I, I can say to you, man, is is you got to understand, man, that like you said earlier, when you say something, uh, it, it holds weight. Yes. It's, po it's powerful because that. of it's like you got to understand. It's like a when you when you dealing with power with God's structure behind it, it basically gives you it. There's a, there's a power, a, a dunamis. You know uh -oh, what I mean? Come on now. You know what I mean? It's, <laughs> there's a power in what you what you do, what you say that regular the the natural mind can't perceive. Mm -hmm. The things of spiritual, you know, of the spiritual. Well, this is natural stuff I'm saying. It's I like, how do you it. build a building? It's just, it's just construct. If I was to write a script, it's, we have 95 pages. We have the first act, the second act, the third act. It's just structures. And I realized that a lot of people don't like structure. And, 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 but, but you're, 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 you're building the infrastructure, but y'all say y'all hate the infrastructure. When I say y'all, I'm someone, people who don't like structure are still on the internet. Which is the infrastructure, the That's platform yeah. that we're all making money off of, that we're doing. It's That's still right. infrastructure. That's right. So when I'm talking about another platform of infrastructure, they usually are crazy because they don't understand infrastructure. They're just going with the, the, the status quo. I gotta ask you, man. Uh, we we gotta get into some. Uh, uh, I gotta get into. I'm this, sorry, man. if I now you went in, you went in. But I didn't. I didn't. Did, that's not even been going in. I know that. We can, yeah. Yeah. We can <laughs> go with the Next question on this. That's not even going in. Um, the question was okay. Being that you come from such a um religious background, spiritual background, spiritual background, mm -hmm. father, grandfather, so forth. Um, I don't believe in religion, by the way. I know you said that before. I'm gonna say it again. <laughs> I hope you put that on your. Th I do not believe in religion. I believe in the Almighty God, and that's it. And his lifestyles. But since you came from that background, how do they feel about how you feel about things right now? Everyone knows everything's broken. Really, uh, the world is getting better right now. Is it really? No. Is it? Like I like the way you said that. Is it really? Did like, you hear what I said? I like the way you, you said that. Ju judge a tree by the fruit of bears. Is is the world getting better right now? Do we feel better? Good. But the reason why I ask you that because I know that when you you have those roots like that, sometimes tradition plays a big part where they're not able to change their thinking. That's on them. I can't do it. Again. That's you, why I'm a comedian. And then you That's come why I got my this shirt that, uh, you know that the I whole, don't care about tradition. In Christ, he take said, tradition, tradition, and turn on his back. I don't care about yeah. the traditions of men. I don't care about That's all this real. extra stuff because it's all a scam. Matthew fifteen, tradition of men made scam. the word of God of none effect. It become none effective. It's when you non effective. Start. And and I'm not trying to bring religion. I know we say we don't want to bring religion, but bring religious books. There is good things to so the purity That's of right. the book. But people take the purity of the book and they take it and they go left with it. That's real. And then now you got this whole thing that we're you know what I'm saying no, we got real. a whole other thing going on that's because people are not well read as it pertains to literature understanding man it's a lot man when you read a bible when you read the bible or, or any holy book as an actor um, you can see it even more because you're looking at how it's played out and how it was written I'm a writer actor and producer so mm -hmm. I'm looking at the whole thing go okay we got Shakespearean. Okay, they did this here. I'm That's looking right. at the style. That's right. He getting the camera. Don't he, never give an actor a Bible. That's real though. No, I get it. <laughs> Don't give that because we gonna I, we gonna break it down like we about to play it. Play I it. I really well, like I said when book I book of Clarence, I should have been in that. <laughs> yeah, I, I should have been in the book of Clarence. Forget you. You think that's that gonna be a really good movie? It's gonna be. A, I think. I mean, I, I like. I, I, no matter what, I like the imaging. That's real. It's probably gonna be some stuff in there, but that, that don't make sense. But I like the imaging of our our people, and it seems so right. Just looking like that. And y'all should go see it. He said, I'm the wow. 13th apostle. Can hey, I be that? I got to ask you, have you, I love it. since <laughs> since all this stuff has happened, all these years have passed. That was a smart way Mar to get it. Mar Mar and Martin Lawrence, have you spoken to him? Do y'all have a relationship? I was supposed to go to his charity event, and um, I was out of town with my family. So so you I, hadn't spoken to him in I, years. By the way, I love Martin Lawrence. I love Cat Williams. I love Kevin Hart. I love Eddie Murphy. These are my brothers. The, Mike Epps, I love you. We've had uh, um, amazing times as brotherhood. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm saying that with an with a open shirt. And you like, mm, <laughs> don't, don't be saying you got... <laughs> not Mike. No, I did a movie called Roll Bounce with Mike. I, yeah, you mm -hmm. sure um, did. You know, Mike, uh, Mike, Mike is Mike is amazing, man. I I oh really God. like I, my thing is like when I when, when I talk to people on this show, and if you watch this show, you know I, I love Phase on too. Shout out to Phase. That's my boy now. Don't, don't mess around. But I, I'm I'm just gonna say love the Internet has 
taking over when it comes down to comedians coming up, getting on the grind. They don't go to a lot of these old places where y'all used to go in these old buildings and do y'all set up and and, they, and y'all get y'all y'all respect that way. Yeah. Now they can do like my boy uh, Desi Banks, Country Wayne. Yes, they shout can, out they to can, them. So so they they come in a different way. Mm-hmm. Like like shout when it comes to down to these two different things. When I came into this game, I started to see that. There was a schism. There was a split to where some would say, hey, they didn't come in the right way. Some would say, no, wait, that's a, minute, like wait a minute. Some mm-hmm. would say, hey, you know, these guys, you know what I'm saying? They good. Like Mike, I see him rocking with Desi a lot and Bubba Dub. That's my boy. You know, I'm just saying, like, like, how do you feel when it comes down to the old uh, traditional way that the comedians came into the game versus the way they do now and the money they make? Because they make some money. You see it. They're, they're amazing. Uh, I think uh, Mojo, Mojo, shout out to Mojo. Shout out to Desi, shout out to uh, Country Wayne. Uh, all I'd say is that please study the art of acting. Okay. Study the art of, uh, it may not even matter because they, they get numbers. They do. And, and, and they have an audience that they're entertaining and I respect that. And I respect the fact that they're doing their things. The thing is, is that like, I just always wanted to be on screen with Denzel and, and Eddie and, and Martin and, 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 and um, these guys are we're just, just actors, you know what I mean? Just uh, high level actors, and now you have to do other things. But you know, with the uh, technology that's going on, it's almost like saying, Charlie Chaplin, how do you feel about an actor that talks? You know, you got the new wave coming in. Charlie was amazing, but you got talkies now. They call it talkies. So the internet comedians are they're the new version. They're the talkies. Of, of, of technology so if you can't cross over with the talkies then you know the moment uh, <laughs> it's kind of it's not funny but it's kind of sad at the same time but the moment Charlie Chaplin they heard his voice they didn't like it wow and it messed his career up and he stayed in the time of silent films so I, I try to always um, embrace the new uh, stay classic stay amazing because that's timeless and once you can be timeless, that means you can, can your spirit can go in any form of structure. I don't know how y'all gonna cut this up. It's all good. I don't even know how y'all gonna cut this up. Y'all gonna be like Brandon. See, they, they, put, they put headlines on the internet. Brandon no. Jackson's shirt is off and he hates Cat Williams. <laughs> no, I didn't I, say that. No, I just wanna, I really wanna understand like, because the internet what is do different. you say to them? Like, you know that you came from a no, different, I told, I told you come you from right. no school. What do you say to those yo, youngsters when, no, you, do, you, when say, you run I into say, them? I say study, 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 study You do team. tell them that. No, no, I know, well, I, I, I've only ran into Mojo and, okay. and I encourage him uh, to uh, study film and that's it that's it okay because they all want to get here's the scam of it. I'm on the internet and I'm blah blah blah, blah. but then they all want to get in film that's real now now you're going to sit down for three months you're trying to do your sketches now you got to do your sketches at a hotel room or, or your apartment or your, your thing condo while you're doing a film and learn all these lines See, I write, produce, direct, all that stuff. I do all of it because Ben Stiller's my mentor. That's my boy. Yeah. I was going to ask you about it. Ben Stiller's my mentor. So I'm, I'm about, you know, I'm about the, the, you know, the white boys going in, typing while we in the club. They, they typing movies while we in the damn club. Wow. That's the shit I like. Excuse my language, but that's the shit I like. When we in the club, they, they're like, hey, bro, what are you? They're listening to everybody and typing movies. Wow. While popping bottles. Hard. You know what I mean? They're making money like, okay, go Seth Rogen, all these guys, they're just having the best time ever. Feeling the culture while they're writing films for Paramount. Wow. That's what I'm used to. That's whole. That's, when, my, that's the class I come from. I love but it. But when things and times has changed so much where like, I remember growing up back in the days, you didn't have Tubi. You didn't have people making their own film. You didn't have, it was like such like unattainable unattainable to just a regular Joe. It's like you had to go to acting class. You had to go get, um, a certain you had to go through certain things to get to where you are. Yeah. Now it's become a thing where it, okay, you want to be in a movie. Okay, let's go. I got some cameras. I got this and that. Let me film this and mm-hmm. then p- pitch this to to be or whoever and get my movie out. Well, I, I believe that reaches the glass ceiling because at a certain time we start laughing at it and then we we want to see better. Faison said that you heard what he said. I can show you a Tubi movie right here, and he just showed you. Oh man, he died this, and he showed me pretty mm-hmm. much how every uh, like low budget. Tubi movie that hadn't been thought thought through, you know, thoroughly mm-hmm. is being pushed out there. Shout out to Tubi movies. Uh, <laughs> Are you too good? I, you from the Tubi world? Well, I'm from Detroit. 
So you pushing Tubi out there? You 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 pushing? No, I support young filmmakers that's, okay. that's trying to do their thing. Oh, okay. Because okay. they all from my city. By the way, we the number one uh, city that's putting out these movies. That really? Y'all yeah. Sorry. Wow. But we well, when you did uh, Envy, you was a kid. You was that was I a, did Envy when I was like sixteen. That's right. Mm -hmm. So that was a time where when you think about it, and you go back to that place versus doing something now. How would you go in and illustrate? Because you wasn't producing back then, of course. But mm -hmm. how would you go in today? How do you set it up? Far as when I see your tube, when I see your tube film versus, uh, you know, one of them ones that, you know, my boy in right there. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Coop. You Shout know what I'm saying? Well, well, <laughs> what, what we got to do? We got to give the filmmakers time to learn how to make great films. They, okay. they, they, it's drug dealing. Turn it to, to movies. You take your drug money and you put it into films. And and you can't down anybody because they didn't go to film school. They're just trying to make trying money to make for their money. family. Yeah. You heard you made a million dollars over here, a million over here. Excuse me, over Tubi. Uh, of course I'm going to, you know, try. If I know I can make a way, that's one thing I love about our people. We will make a way out of no way. We be like, look, I got these cameras. I'm going to set it up and we're going to do the best we can. We're going to just get better as we go. The problem is, is that once it gets time to, uh, uh, when it gets down to the thing and they didn't expect for Tubi to be branded the way it is, because the way it is, is like the black network, mm -hmm. not even a black network. It's not even BET. It's like the, the worst black network because it used to feel like it was all these bootleg movies I used to always see on Tubi I used to hate and they watching made Tubi. billions of dollars they made money didn't Fox ain't gonna you know get why? it if it ain't making money they, listen they made billions of dollars and now that they have the billions of dollars they're gonna do uh, a rock star big names whatever but we still built them mm -hmm. just That's like real. when Martin wasn't nothing just like when Living Color wasn't nothing all these things was just some independent, oh, who's Kenan Ivy Wayne's? Oh, blah, 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 he's Eddie Murphy's friend. And now they became one of the hottest shows ever. It's the same thing, different time, different structures. So I love that our people made a billion dollars for Tubi, but now you have to move, now we're evolving. Mm -hmm. And Tubi, and I'm not here to speak for the network because I, I have a deal with them. I would say this, that I know something that w the quality and standards had to come up anyways. You know, and that's why I can't say uh, when Cat Williams talking about um, black content and how we need to get it uh, to, to come up. I mean, he had a whole run with Tubi. His The money he makes on one show could have funded a thousands of Tubi movies. Wow. I see Tubi movies making for $5,000, $10,000. Yeah, but how do you get the information to where you, because he's a sharp dude, but how do you how do you make that brief? You got to listen. You got to listen. You know, good. You got. It's hard to get somebody I, to listen with money, man. Well, there you go. <laughs> I'm just being that's real. Not, but that's not. That's. But that's, it's real. But that's personal choice. Yeah. Because yeah. if someone, if you, if you on, if you on uh, the pulse of of the culture, which he is, and you know, and then that's why I got my new book called Producer State of Mind. Mm -hmm. Producer State of Mind. An actor State of Mind is already out, and producer State of Mind. I knew about it. You know what I'm saying? Does Tubi ever get to a point where it's competing with what Hollywood is, has established? What do you mean? It is Hollywood. I know it, but the I mean, same, it, but it's coming up a different way. Shout out it? to Adam Lewison who produced uh, Big Mama's House. Shout out to Adam Lewison who produced uh, two of my movies. Who's the executive over at Tubi? So he comes straight. It's the okay, same, same thing. I people. get it. That's hard. But I had a, um, a producer came on here and he's actually he did all his own my, movie. My, uh, Heather, thank you so much for being my deal. Shout out to all my my <laughs> white friends. Love y'all so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's real. And he said he said that the so called bootleg movies, the worst looking movies, get more views than the. Who said that? Um, someone else who actually have a film on Tubi. Really? He's smart. Um, he said they get. Um, what's his name? He's from Arkansas, isn't it? Oh, yeah, but that's great for viewership. Yes. But the oh, C. James, yeah, C. James, oh, C. James, yeah, C. James. He said that um, the worst ones get way more views because mm -hmm. he had good quality and he was upset because he he did that whole movie is on his own independent. It, it looked great. It, 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 it does, is but that then, a true but then there's branding. But then there's branding. Fox it had a, uh, Tubi had a Super Bowl commercial. They don't want to be branded as it the did. Ghetto Network. Mm. And no offense, I love those movies because I'm from Detroit. I understand it, but I'm like. It's just corporate advertising. Then there becomes financial instruments, which I can, I talk about in my book. Man, I got to They don't need, they just need enough 
Yeah. Say it like that, because I don't want to talk too much. Enough. They just need enough to, but viewership, and then you can bring in financial instruments. Hold on. Let me, I got to ask you, like, did you, um, what made you not, you was you was going to take the role in Coming to America too. Yeah. But you decided not to go that route. What was the reasoning behind it? I just didn't like the script. I love Eddie Murphy. I just was a little scarred with other things I've done, and I wanted to uh, not play a bunch of people's sons. So... Is That's it, it. Is it, it was it something to where you okay so you you know leaving that you know how important it is when you go into a role how it affects you later on now that you've yes. been through the yes. stuff that you've been through from lottery ticket That's from right. big mamas from percy all this I stuff got it. i see the spirituality attached to it and i um you know i just look at it and go okay how does this how does this look okay boom, boom. and then it, you know you know prayerfully you don't have to see my internet being like yo y'all they just changed the script because I know what it means. I know yeah, what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's only spirituality. Um, only in that aspect you're talking about, it affects you. It doesn't affect you as in getting future roles. It just affects you personally, like, with the roles that you're picking while you're not picking certain roles. I mean, you you realize they reproduced what, like, Denzel will always be Denzel because he made a pathway for that. Right. Me, they will always look at me for the bitty guy who's going to do this thing because I made a pathway for that. I'm changing my pathway. Not saying it's gonna be perfect, but I'm changing my pathway, and that's where the, that's what I'm. That's why we're doing these interviews. Right, and not many can do that because I know that I remember seeing an interview with um, that gentleman on um, Jamie Foxx show. Which um, one? The Square. I call him the Square. The light skin. What's his name again? Braxton. And he uh, said that he went in, yeah, he went in to an audition mm -hmm. and his biggest pet peeve is when you go into an audition and the person sitting there interviewing you, looking at you as Braxton, he's calling you Braxton like, hello, that's not what I'm coming in here for. Yeah, well, he defined, he defined that character and he's a really good actor. I mean, that's one of those things where you got, it's hard to shake. Mm -hmm. uh, back then it wasn't... Um, things to shake it but that's why I do these podcasts mm. You're like oh that's Brandon oh, okay because if I'm not gonna make my, my name uh, in, in Hollywood which I will I will the people will know who I am because right. I'm defining my story about what I say hopefully it's, not, it's edited right and then it's not a, a false headline, mm -hmm. which I, I trust the integrity of this this, this uh, boss talk, which that's why I came on here. Right. Well, I'm coming up there whenever you releasing these moves, like when I went and did that for Jamal mm -hmm. Willard down there. I'm I'm coming to Detroit. I'm a, I, I want to you know help you know like like when movies are coming out. Yeah. I will, I be wanting to be in the midst of our people, man, to, because come right with us. We yeah. over there. We got Dr. Two Studios. Yeah, that's what, I was going to ask you. That. I want to know the build up. Dennis Reed. Well, you ain't getting out of the structure and the build up of Dr. Two. I want you to explain to me how you guys even developed it, how it came to be. Um, that's a that's a deeper conversation. I can't talk about it because really? we're, well, we're in the middle of of of, of uh, uh, lawyers right now in okay. a good way. In a good way. Okay. So we're in the middle of a deal, so I don't want to talk about what is coming because you don't want to project, but I'll tell you this, it's some big things coming. Okay. And shout out to all my white friends. Shout out to uh, Sam Horitz. Shout out to, uh, who else? Uh, Adam Lewison. Shout out to Heather, uh, who gave me my deal over there. Shout out to Netflix. Shout out to uh, Peacock. Shout out to everybody that's, that's, that's blessing us real quick just because... Um, um, I'm not a house Negro, but I love you guys. <laughs> um, you guys are my friends. I gotta, so. I gotta ask you about the, uh, about just the stand up, like how therapeutic it, how, how much does it help you when you go on that stage to talk about the things that you know that you've been through? How, how, mu how much does that push the scale forward? For, well, it uh, gives Brandon. you a chance. Jonathan Majors can never say what really happened unless he goes on, on, uh, you know, ABC and they edit a certain way. You know, that scares me. So I always stay on stage. I, I got to ask you a question. Love so um, how big, okay, being an actor, being a stand-up comic, doing the things that you've been doing from a young age, how does mental health um, affect you? Being able to balance your regular life with your work life and actually, like, as you said, being a method actor, shaking all of that off. How does, do you have to see a therapist? Do you, No, any just of that? pray. Pray fast, you know. Talk to God. God's my therapist. <laughs> in everything. In everything. 
I give all glory to the Most High. I don't care. Listen, y'all can say what y'all want to say. I'm not religious. I'm saying, I'm, but I give all glory to the Most High or the Creator or the Universe, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Everybody got a different name for Allah, Yahuwah, Hashem, Jesus, whatever y'all want to call it. The universe, whatever. That's what I give glory to. But, you know, because everybody at one point, no matter even if you believe in God, you still have to deal with mental attacks. Yeah, the Almighty teaches us how to do that. So give me an example of something um, that came on you one day and you had to, because there's young kids, there are people who watch these shows and I like to help people through these cameras. How did you deal with, how did you overcome it? Give me that obstacle. I never had it. So I you mean, never had obstacles at no, all? No, no, I have a lot of obstacles because of my mental health. It, it was almost trying to just figure it out. It's like, you know, it, we don't deny mental health, but I'm saying it was almost just trying to, you're going through a journey. Mm-hmm. And every I can't say everyone came from the strong background I came from, so I can't really not be empathetic, but I would say turn to what's inside you Turn to that that voice that tells you, you know, the truth on what you should do that's better, that's in betterment for you. And for me, it comes from the Holy Scriptures. And um, if you don't have that, there's also a survival instinct that's hu- that humans have. That you have to, you gotta, gotta lean on survival. Lean on if you if you want to live if that's your choice you can't you you can't control everything but what you can do you can control how you react to everything and that's what I, I I seem to understand so as much healthy if you want that change some people don't want the change so you can't just be like oh um I went through this thing and now I'm sad you know how do I feel okay now I want to hurt myself right. Who do I turn to? Okay, you got drugs, alcohol, women, whatever. You say I gotta look inside. It's the same thing. You know, these messages have been going on for so long with the, the Wizard of Oz. You know, Dorothy was already home. Mm-hmm. It means everything inside you, Christ, the kingdom is in you. You have to choose to bring that thing out inside of you to, to go to the next level. And that, that that's a personal choice. And that's why you can't interfere. All you can do is, is inspire. You can't interfere. You can inspire mm-hmm. for them to go to that choice. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Wow. It's deep. It, it, it I is. know. It, it's, it's like, and every time I get deep, I feel like you're going to edit it. No. No. Don't edit it. You need to go watch Boss Talk. I don't, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. This is what I do. I love it. To be Don't honest. edit it, bro. Bro, what am I editing for? It, it's all really, really organic. And it, it, the people need the to hen, know the, the truth, hen, bro. The hen, is, the hen is Jesus turned my water into <laughs> the sea. No, because the reason, why, the reason why I always say that or something like that is because when I think about um, the, the generation that we're in, and I, I, when I say mental health, because growing up, when first people start first talking about it, I'm like, being an older person, I'm like, okay, what are y'all talking about mental health? You just need a good whooping or you need a good whatever and move on or have a tougher skin. But what I've realized about this generation is the fact that the reason why people think the way how they, they do or react the way they do is because they have traumatic things that happen. When I say traumatic, I don't mean nothing like, it doesn't have to be anything crazy like rape or anything like that. It could be just neglect. You're a father. You didn't pay me attention, whatever. And because of that, this is the way, the reason why I am like how I am as I got older. And mm-hmm. people don't look back on their childhood and really reflect and like, okay, why do I do this? It's because of this. How can I restructure my thinking so I can now be progressive in how I move forward? Well, that, that become, that, that's the lack of mentorship uh, in our community. And then when there is the answers and the problems you can't, I, I, I was saying to somebody, you can't bring solution, problems to solutions. A lot of us like to bring problems. Wait a minute. That's what, that, that, that was the whole deal with like Cat Williams and all the stuff that was said. It was a lot of issues that was resolved for him to we speak We don't on. really, you know. We, he spoke I, on them. He we spoke don't on want the solution. Stuff. You know what I mean? So I took seven years off of my career to find solutions for African Americans. Seven years. Seven years. Seven years. Seven hard years where I almost lost my house trying to b- build 
and build solutions for African Americans. And I did it. And you know what I presented to them? They said I was a devil. Who did you present it to? Oh, I got a lot of I got solutions. Just don't don't get me started. Okay, but I it, got so many solutions for us to make it that if we chose to do it, we would do it. If not, that's on us. And that's why no other nationality feels sorry for us because we do not choose to win. Because of trauma, as she says. Okay, okay. You are I sound elitist, but I'm gonna tell you what I do. I sound, I sound like a leader also. And the, and, and when, when you are a leader to God, you always sound above the people. I'm not above the people. I'm with y'all. Don't forget the lid don't forget that scene on lottery ticket. I understand it. I grew up in Detroit. I built we built my family built all this stuff, bro. Okay. We built these these constructs to make sure our people could eat right, could have gyms and have these things. Everybody in the community gave us problems and the white man gave us problems. And y'all still, y'all, I mean everybody, gave us problems on solutions, period. Wow. And I'm, I'm trying, I'm, I'm, and, and you, know, you, know, you know I'm so passionate about that? Because when I come up with a solution, I hear a problem. Well, I can't, I'm, it's just like the children of Israel. Wow. Just like what we are. We say a problem. When Moses came with the with the, the solution, they gave a problem to him. And God had to smite them motherfuckers because that's that mentality of a problem. And we have to be sincere to trauma, like she said. But when I come with a solution, you cannot, or when we, a group of us, great thinkers, intellects, no, we're not thugs. We're intellects to come up with solutions for the problem. You get mad at us? And we say we're, we're house niggas. You say we ain't ish. Stop. We're trying to save and help the people to have something. That's the minimalist thing. A dollar a day. That's wow. one solution I have. Uh, no, no. <laughs> I remember I'm, you said I'm, a, a dollar a day. A dollar a day. That's three hundred sixty-five dollars a year. Yeah. That's one Yeezy. That's one Jordan. A year. From fourteen percent of the population. We'll get the fun by Robert Smith, who's a billionaire who don't need the money. Mm -hmm. That's right. He in Austin. Austin yeah, Texas. right here. Yeah. Everybody love it. Okay. We get a Series 7 uh, SEC licensed person to watch the fun. And we'll put the money towards the community. And we'll update the community. We'll have 24-hour surveillance inside of the office to make sure nothing is being stolen. And we'll have, we'll have AI or whatever figure it out. Technology to know that this cannot be compromised. But we're a community of followers. Mm, a dollar a day. And when I say followers. A dollar a day. They going to sit down. You have to get <laughs> a handful. A dollar a day. day. You have to get a handful of people who agree. I don't want see. People, That's a problem. One people. <laughs> one people That's why I'm drinking Hennessy. That's why I'm drinking Hennessy. Because you see, just gave me but butt. I'm telling you. Every I'm other telling community. you what people do. problem. They watch. They want to see you succeed at whatever you do. My tickets for my comedy show is twenty five freaking dollars and thirty dollars. It's almost sold out. I a dollar for me to make you laugh. You're gonna pay me twenty five bucks, and I'm gonna make a lot of money this weekend. A dollar a day, period. From one point two trillion dollars a year in spending power, one dollar out of that. Get the fuck out of here, man. Y'all don't want no solutions. Y'all want problems. Y'all, black people want problems, like not that. solutions. Because I came with solutions with the kingdom, a seal, everything. You know why I'm getting back to work with my shirt off? Because I came to the people and they didn't want it. I like that, man. That's good stuff. That's real that's good stuff. That's a soundbite you're going to have. That's going to yeah, be amazing. That's hard. Like that. when, I, when I look at you and the I loved your solution a while ago too, and I didn't say nothing. No, I got no, no. no I loved that's it. only one. I loved it. I, loved it. So we'll, I got, I got a thing where you give to receive. You every time you give, you receive a buck too. You receive money every time you give. How about that? Have you reached out to Robert Smith? I'm, I'm reach out to him. You but better. I, well, only reason why for the trust factor of the fund, because uh, black people always like, who controlling the money? It's like, yeah. Who control any of money? Like who control your treasury, United States of America, y'all? But y'all trust that, and God we trust. Like who's God? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. In, in yeah, that sense, yeah. so it, you know, it's like we trust everything, but what we're supposed to trust. And I get it because there are certain things that you got to have legal stand for, uh, stand, uh, standpoints for. But at the same time, it's like if you have such a secure base situation that's going with the law of America and the law of, of what we're doing, 
it could work. And we got to stop thinking it's not going to work. Let me ask you something. Do you, have you ever worked, or you, you met Jamie Foxx? Of course. Straight up from right here, 30 minutes away, Terrell, Texas. Like, like, uh, have you ever, you did, have you ever did anything together? Me and Jamie, we hosted this uh, concert together, which never got released, by the way. Um, it was a stand-up comedy thing. Um, <laughs> they said I was cussing too much. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. I just uh, wanted to know your thoughts on Jamie, uh, to be honest. Jamie's with. great, you know? Um, I think the Most High has been dealing with him for years. I think he's had the call on his life, and he's, he's uh, trying to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. and the reason I asked you that because of the what he went through a few months back that was real, you know what I mean? It yeah. was a deal where where a lot of people was worried. <laughs> I, I was worried, actually. One of the guys did like, man, you know, I'm a big fan. Like, it's just like if anything happened to our people, it's like, dang, well, he gonna be able to come back from that, you know what I mean? But he been trickling, you know what I mean, doing his thing, but it, you can tell it's not like it was as aggressive for the internet and stuff like that, well, you know? you know, sometimes uh, God pulls our, um, he yanks our cord, you know? Yeah, to do what he uh, called us to do. Wow, so, and it's not for us to understand. Yeah, I, we, it's not for us to understand. Like some people don't. Uh, I'm saying so many things that make so much sense to me, but y'all be like, that nigga is some. What's going on? And it makes so much no, sense to me. I get it. Uh, Kanye, you know? Kanye, probably you know, you probably get you know that Kanye vibe. You're like, like, think about it. Like when you start talking about God and when you start talking about processes and you start talking about different things that other people are scared or, or fear touching, yeah, you're going to get a certain, you're going to get a certain, you're going to get a certain look. Yeah. It's going to be, it's come, it's going to come at you a I certain bash, way. I don't bash, but me opposed to Kanye, I don't bash other communities to uplift ours. I focus on our problem because the, the narcissism is deflecting. Going, okay, but you also can expose. But when you deflect, you know, there were certain things that the other communities did that caused respect that we have to bow to. Mm. That they did. Whether it happened in 1918, we, it's just, uh, I just don't believe that. What do you, do you, nobody is stronger than our unity. Do you ever, uh, I don't believe nobody's stronger than our, our, our unity and system. Do you like when you? Maybe we, we refuse to create a a infrastructure and system because we always have these. But what about this? What about that? Yeah, we need a, a, a guy to crack the sky for us to come together. Mm -hmm. But you know they don't need that. So uh, power to them. Shout out to all the communities that came together in unity. Love y'all guys. You guys are inspirations. How about that? Yep. That's real. But when you came back out with your solutions, who did you present your solutions to? The people. Where? First, the spiritual community. Okay. And then they called me the devil. Okay. They said, only Christ can do that. And then it became some other stuff. And it was, uh, it, listen, first, if you're going to do, you got to go to the spiritual community first. And then you have to go to the, you got to go legal, you know, make sure it's legal. And then present it to the people that most people with consciousness are presented to. And they gave me more of a headache than other. Wow. But I'll say, let's all go to the strip club. Everybody going to the strip club. If I say, let's all go here, let's go here. Let's all go smash some hoes. We're going to unite for that shit. That's real. Let's go smash. Let's go spend 20 grand, 100 grand on some bitches. I promise you, niggas will unite for that. But if I say, let's go spend 100 grand to buy up this community or buy, oh, no, that's not enough money, but to buy up this house, oh, it's all this, hey, nigga, talk to my accountant, my nigga, hey, listen, now you got an accountant when it's time to do something righteous. <laughs> that's you know real. what I'm saying? Now, now you got that's an accountant. so real. But when we but when we throwing clothes, strip, when we was getting hoes, you ain't got no account then. That's real. That is so real. I hate that shit, man. But it's real. So over the top. Do you, in Detroit they was building up different? They were buying up different land and stuff. You seen that? Buying up different they, property. It was us. Correct. We a lot of people was buying up land, doing a lot of different things. How do you feel that that whole thing is right now at this point? I bought all my house from DJ Envy. I'm sure. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, is that? that that's the comedy uh, version. That's the comedy it version. Kicked in. I love you, Jim. Yeah. I'm about to fuck with you. kicked in. I'm fucking with you. But, uh, so. <laughs> Stop. You know why I said that. No, 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 DJ, you know? no, DJ MV actually is righteous. I love him. 
And I, did I, you buy houses from DJ? No, no, I, I don't play me. I, <laughs> that's not comedy, mind. Okay. That's, not, that's not the activist. But the how comedy. is it up there? I know, I know, Angela. <laughs> Ye- <laughs> Angela Yee bought some stuff from over there. Uh, you know, it's Detroit's tricky. It is controlled by other communities. That's it. That's what, it. What can, I mean, what can we do? Come together, motherfuckers. It's always all the same matrix. Either you come together or die. That's it. Or not, who cares? I got my shirt off, nigga. I'm about to do another movie. I don't care. Because <laughs> if y'all not going to do it, I'm going to go back to work. I don't care. Yeah, you think about Detroit. You think about Flint, Water. All of all it, bro. Stuff. We bought all that shit up. And then, and then and bro, I'm, I'm not doing this stuff. Either y'all want to come together and unite the kingdom, or y'all don't. If though y'all don't, I'm I don't care. I'm going back to work anyways. Whether y'all do, y'all don't. I don't care. I love I love I love my people. I chose y'all this shit. I talked all this truth. I agree with Cat. I did all this. I'm not going to stop what I'm doing to feed my family. If people don't want to leave leave Hollywood and go where and go where leave your job and then donate to my church. Man, fuck you. Leave your job and donate to my spirituality. Fuck you. Why am I going to donate if I leave my job? Nigga, I'm going on stage. I'm acting. I'm doing sex scenes with the, with these girls. And I'm going to do what I do as an actor. And I'm going to have a great time, the greatest time ever. And I'm going to make love to my wife in different countries. Young kiss my ass. I am out. I'm you not done. done it. No, because there's no point. Everybody to f- the most one of the most uh, amazing men, Martin Luther King, Farrakhan, R- Risa Islam, uh, all these people have came together. Christians, Muslims, Israelites. We still have a problem coming together. I'm going back to work because when I leave my job, you have no place to put me. Wow. No place to put me. Wow. I'm going. I'm you're not going. Okay, me and my five kids are coming to your house. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna eat your food. Wow, they gonna, brother. Uh, the Bible says, "Get out, no nigga." You told me to leave. <laughs> I'm not doing this with this no, this this this, this bullshit. This matrix bullshit. No, I get it. I definitely get I'm it. I'm not self righteous. I'm not all the way holy. I'm just striving to be the best man I can be under God, and that's all I can be. Like King David, he was the best man he could be to God. I'm not Christ. I'm not the Holy One or the one that comes floating in. I am a, a brother that was getting shot of Jameson, and I'm drinking in the sea right now, and I'm having the best time ever For and sure. enjoying life. Boss Talk 101, guys. We here. That's man, what I am. That's my boy Brandon T. What? Jackson getting it in. What are some upcoming films we can look out for you? Yeah. Man, forget that. If I get sued, whatever. <laughs> I got my new uh, show on Netflix and BT called Family Business. I'm a new star of that show, Family Business New Orleans. I got a new show, a uh, new uh, movie called Be- Beginning to See the Light. I uh, say I went quick to work. I went quick to work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I got uh, my new uh, comedy special on Netflix called Still Detroit. Uh, we sh- we're filming it this year. Um, also, I got a couple of things. Um, uh, a fighting. Well, I can't say that. I can't say that because that's in development. I got uh, a lot of films in development that mm-hmm. I don't want to speak because I'm really get in trouble. But me and Terry Crews, we teaming up. God bless. I'm ask you about him. Yeah. How's he doing? He's doing great. I he just don't like. I don't like that people didn't feel sorry for him. When he, he went was, through when a he lot. Went, yeah. He went through a lot. I was going to ask you about that. I got it in my notes. Yeah. I, say, I was like, a- ask what? me. I was just wanting to know, like, how did you feel about when he went through that and the way that he was, you know, the way that I don't people like came that nobody it. supported Terry Crews, a man that was se- a black man that was sexually harassed, and then when Cassie come out, everybody crying. Wow! But nobody bought her album. None of these women bought her album. Why did you buy the album? That's real. She been waiting so long for you to answer that call. <laughs> buy the album. Why did you buy the album? You just support her so much. Oh, 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 right. Yes, I, I support Cassie. That's my friend. But I bought her album. Did you buy her album? I got Cassie album in my phone right now. Nigga, the phone. <laughs> Hold on. Shit. You I got, got, you my got password. it. I got Cassie album. Do you? Cause if she was to be a platinum star, maybe she would have found a way. Maybe, maybe she could have found certain things. She was under certain subjections and things. You don't know what was going on. But y'all talking about all that support, but when it's coming down to support, when they art and what they standing for, all y'all running. Oh, but when it comes to Mel Gibson though, that nigga got a whole crew. 
Wow. He got a whole gangster crew like, oh, I've been hurt. Oh, now I'm going to come back with this movie, nigga, 100 million. <laughs> you don't got to sue. And listen, I totally in support of, of, of anything that's against women brutality. I'm so supportive of anything against hurting women. Understand what I'm saying? But y'all can't have, as Chris Rock said, selective outrage on when it comes down to, uh, okay, oh, yeah, exactly. You didn't support her when you thought, okay, boom, oh, I don't like her music, whatever. But now she want to come out and say blah, 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 this and that. I'm like, yo, support her every everywhere, each which way. That's all I'm saying. Be, be with me when I'm down. Mm. Not just when I'm up. Mm. Y'all know good and well, y'all motherfuckers didn't, didn't buy her album. All y'all talking all that shit. Talking about, oh, Cassie, then did you buy her album? I bought her album. I was on yeah. tour with her. That's all. Her, Ryan Leslie, all them dudes. Uh, uh whatever. And you know, it's like this. <laughs> like, I pray, I'm praying for Diddy. Wow. Diddy has showed me nothing but love in, in the past. I don't like to see our brothers fall. I'm praying for Diddy Jakes. I'm praying for our brothers. Like, if you got a power bottom spirit, then we're going to ask God to, to do what? Power bottom spirit. I don't know what it means. But <laughs> this dude just said power bottom spirit. <laughs> I'm saying that if you do, I still forgive you. And I pray that God deliver you from the power bottom spirit. <laughs> this dude's tripping. He said just, power bottom spirit. I'm just telling you the truth. <laughs> If he do got a power bottle, <laughs> you where they do much. this at? You <laughs> so the, I'm just saying the, the internet is crazy, if bro. He got a power bottle. The internet takes stuff and just it crams it in your face, I know, bro. And that's what I'm saying. We don't know if TD Jakes did any of this stuff. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So we don't know. He we said, don't know. But I'm saying, if you have, if he did, let's think of worst case scenario. I know it sounds crazy. <laughs> The power bottom spirit. If, I seen him dancing. If, if you got a, I don't know if it's everywhere. Has, okay, but we don't laugh because Charlie Sheen gave all those women AIDS came back with a, a platinum TV show. Well, he smack. As I'm saying, there's no Damn. redemption program from black people. If he does have a, a bottom <laughs> bottom, <laughs> stop making me laugh. No, no, stop me. no, you, you. If he has him. a power bottom spirit, we are gonna pray that whatever it is, he 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 finds the light. I know it's not funny. It's, it's like he finds the light. No, but we so judgmental. We're like, no. oh, nigga. But white folks can do whatever they want. Yeah, that's white real. folks can have a powder bottom spirit. And we like, <laughs> like. <laughs> it's not ridiculous. Every time you say it, he goes, no, 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 me and definitely know that it's a real thing. Power bottom spirits <laughs> have just not been See identified on Boss Talk 101. That's Listen, what just happened. I'm, I, <laughs> I'm telling I'm you. I'm not trying to be an asshole. I'm trying to tell you, if, if if someone do have that spirit, I'm not going to say it again. No, no, don't say it. I'm not going to say it Don't say it again. We're going to laugh. Yeah. <laughs> See? No, it's, it's it's a real thing, though. And it's That's a lot okay. of people suffering I'm still a comedian, it. too. It's, I, I know I'm knowledgeable, but I'm still a comedian, too. No, it's if someone true. has that spirit, I'll be yeah, disrespectful. We have to. We have to. <laughs> pray, we have to pray for him. Nigga, Charlie Sheen came back. That's all I'm Sheen, saying. He nigga. made it. Diddy Jason come back, too. And Diddy. I'm saying that right now. Let I know it sounds so bad. Whatever God has for them and the judgment and whatever's happening, I pray for the grace and the mercy of God for them. And I love them, brothers. And please keep this in here because I don't just want the power bottom spirit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to be. I got to get you. Uh, no, it's not getting edited. Listen. <laughs> exactly. all, the thing I'm, all the thing I'm telling you is. I'm, I, I mean, when I, I go back to this, I thought about this a while ago. Is people being placed in different position because of different moves being made that's over them? Like, Cat Williams alluded to Kevin uh, Hart being put in a position because of certain moves that he was willing to do. Ludacris was willing I think to do. Kevin does this really, does hard, this like, really, is it really a thing where people put you in a position because of the moves you make? I, 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 I gotta so, ask that, bro. Honestly, I, I think God controls everything. I think Kevin, I, Hart, all right. I think Kevin Hart worked hard and um, I think Kevin, uh, 
did what he did and in in in, 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 in in a way where he just learned how to um to make content very fast and very good. And he hooked up with uh um Jeff Clanigan, who was a great promoter and he blew up on the on the comedy uh the hype and I mean on the comedy um uh, all stars and then um, it was it was cosmic, it was God. I don't know what he does behind the scenes, but I, I'm you're not gonna tell me Kevin Hart Hart doesn't work hard. No, 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 I'm does. definitely not gonna say and that. You're not gonna tell me he doesn't know how to create content the He's way he good. do it, and he again tell me how to have a great team. Dave Becky, uh Pookie Wee, all them dudes, they're may I know them. They're great at what they do. Okay. So sometimes it should be your team. And some people just don't want to work with Cat, and that's okay. I want to work with Cat. I love Cat. <laughs> you I love work Kevin. With I love all of them. Yeah. But I'm saying I will work with both of them. But what I'm telling you is that they don't have a structure when it come, pertains to of 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 of, 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 of balance towards each other. It's a competition. Well, man, that's not a. It man. is. That's what the, he was okay. saying. One point two trillion million dollars is not a competition. I if get it. It's not a competition with spending power of Black America, and that's just Black America because both of them are crossover. So fuck the competition bullshit, and that's why I deal with the kingdom. I don't deal with separatism. That's real. That's a scam, and our people. That's the biggest scam of our people. Oh, then go. Yeah, okay. No, can't said that. But that's on him. That's his mindset. I see it as cat. Help me sell so many tickets this weekend. Thank you, Cat. It was no competition. He said my name, 43 million people saw it, and now my tickets are selling like crazy. Thank you, Cat. Wow. What do you think about what do you think about Cat um putting Kevin Hart X on tour with him? It's great. That's our work. That's money. We're money slaves. being made. We're all slaves. Let's work. Let's money be, money money being made. Let's work for the master. It don't matter. We're money. having a good time. That's real. Money. You act like made. we're free. We're not free. There's no black nation. There's no nation, no Wakanda. We're having the best time ever. No one is above anybody in the kingdom. We all are who we are, who we are. So Kat and Kevin go back our four. That's on them. Those two OGs that are 50 years old, oh, 45, 48, oh, 50. They can have it. That fighting old spirit. That spirit of fighting is old. And I pray that my youngins see the example of two men that can make something great. That is hard, man. I love the way you answer these That's questions. That's the kingdom. No, I love the way you answer the questions because you answer them with precision and you basically That's just God give it, talking. I don't know no, what I'm saying. I'm on Hennessy. It's the truth, though. It's, it's like it's it Jesus needs to be heard. You know what I mean? Like, these are questions that I ask because I know that others will see it and they'll be able to understand further. You dope, bro, to be able to even, you know, sit back and even analyze it. Do you, do you value the time that you spent going out and trying to figure out all these different things, to be honest with you? It's hard for me because I had the whole community turn against me. Um, I had the Hollywood community and also look at me like I was crazy. I love them even for that because I did come off crazy. Um, and I had um, the uh, religious community come off me because I don't abide by their standards. I'm making new pathways or old pathways where Christ talks about the kingdom. And it's not religion. It's not going and it's not doing what people say. I don't Shout out to Muslims. Shout out to Israelites. Shout out to Christians. Let's come wow. together and build the kingdom. Wow. Y'all scared of that? Oh. Because <laughs> Muhammad <laughs> said, because Jesus said, because Moses said. It's always a, it's always a scam one not to unite. It's all, that's why I, I don't care. You know what I love about Hollywood? We unite to make great art. That's it. Period. And we have a great time. And we love each other and we in peace. When I come over to the spirituality, and that is, Hollywood's a scam too. But, and the religion's a scam too. How about that? I'm, a, I'm neither of y'all. I'm not Hollywood or religion. I'm the kingdom. I'm Brandon D. Jackson, a son of the Most High, and having the best time ever on Hennessy and chilling and speaking truth. Tell everybody what they can uh, find you at uh, this Br weekend. At Brandon T. Ja at Brandon T. No, Jackson. No, 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 no. I'm talking about at the all in Okay, let's I'm get I'm doing it. all of it. Okay, let's go. All on some improv prop all weekend. Y'all come through. Um, I can't uh, say that it will be this elect electrifying, <laughs> but it, it will be definitely electrifying. But um, if, the, if, if, the, if the spirit come on, let it come on. But we have a good time. Um, I'm very funny. I know I'm very conscious. 
Arlington Improv from uh, Friday through uh, Sunday. We have uh, two shows every night, 9.30, uh, 7.30, 9.30. Y'all come through. The nigga from Gro- Road Bounce, is, uh, he grown now. <laughs> Man. The nigga, hey, hey, lottery ticket. He grown Percy now. Percy Jackson. Percy Jackson. Man, I love he Percy almost, he almost He almost forty with kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's a grown man now. I know they're like, who's this? Yeah, I didn't even know there was a new Percy Jackson show that came out. Did you see it? Fuck that show. <laughs> <laughs> this man, because <laughs> you weren't in there. No, well, I mean, they, well, uh, how could I be? I'm, you know, they they, they could have brought you back as an older person. But someone else was play- It's all about writing Someone else was playing my role So right. you can't be like I was still- Let's do the metaverse You could have been the- a dad With the Spider-Man If you do a Spider-Man thing Where it's like metaverse But that's not So that's the- what this was it Well back. no I mean they Well if I was Business wise That's smart I love that Disney did this They, they What they did was They got 12 year olds To play 12 year olds mm-hmm. Wow We were 25 year olds Playing 12 year olds yeah, yeah. Like, They're like What's going on <laughs> But we were good. Yeah. I thought we were good. Damn good. And um, Percy Jackson was amazing. It's it a great thing. And uh, it, it actually tapped into the uh, spiritual side of, you know, the gods and, the, you know, all that stuff spiritually. So I love all that uh, mystical type things. Mm-hmm. Um, I got more for y'all for that. Now, y'all act like it's over. Like, what happened when you did this? Like, I, like let me grow. <laughs> <laughs> they want you to stay in the Old Testament. But people love the 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 movies. They Like me, I watch them all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I watch them over He'll and over watch again. Big Mama I love it too, time. but why can't I make some more stuff? No, no, you're going to make more, but yeah, we're going to enjoy I, it all. I know, but exactly. Please, because I'm like, I got some... Got some fire coming, bro, man. I just but a lot of people don't coming. know the the movies that you're in until they unless they hit the, the big screen because it'd be so shocking to me when I actually like look up a uh, actor's name and I'm like, oh, what that didn't go big screen. I never saw this. I'm like, let me watch this. Yeah, you'd be surprised how many other films people are in you just didn't know. Clifton, yeah, I, 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 I done, I done so many, I done. done so many films. Clifton Powell, man, how Love was him. it working with him? What is How's that? He's so professional. I gotta just give him the Clifton, shout out. Clifton Powell, shout out to Clifton Powell, by the way. Um, I don't know what camera is. They my, all, uh, you can look straight my, ahead. My great close up, but um, <laughs> this one's too close. These two are, are the money shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Clifton. Clifton will take a $5,000 movie and act like it's a $100 million movie. That's hard. I like it. And I love that it gives every energy to uh, a movie that could be considered grassroots. Yeah. That a producer might never done a camera, never done nothing before. He might have like like $5, $10. Could <laughs> give him like, Leo, shoot me out in two days. Wow. I'm, I'm like, what? Two days. You got two days. This much money. Wow. Man, we shot Clifton out on that movie so quick and he was such a pleasure to work with wow and we had some chicken after we 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 went to the bar we chilled that's my brother right there I we had some it, drinks man. we had some shots brothers had some lemon pepper wings come on now and we had a great time shout out to Clifton Powell I had to get him in there man before you get out of here man like I said you brothers Clifton. man inspiring shout brothers, out to all my, uh, my my white friends Clifton uh, uh, Ben Stiller Ben Stiller Robert Downey Jr Robert Downey Jr, uh, Robert Downey Jr. Uh, this Chris Tucker Cl- uh, Chris, Chris Tucker. Tucker all my all my black and white friends um, we not by, we might by, we might not be the same but we can understand each other and respect each other cause it will never be the same say that right now but we will always respect and understand our differences and come together and make some money until God what? comes back. Okay, I'm done. Okay, this. one more question. I'm getting I a lot in, of like uh, <laughs> PSAs. So I know like, in in in, in um, previous interviews I've seen you you um, talk about that you've never had to do sexual favors to grow in the, the industry. Did I release it on my Instagram? Uh, well, that was on an astral plane. Oh, no, that, that wasn't our interview. Which wow. interview? Um, the last one that came out like this. Astro Plant. Yeah. Uh-huh. But um never had to do sexual favor. Okay. Right? But you know, we regular people when we hear stories, we hear people we hear these things, but we don't know it's just a hearsay or rumor. Have you ever had to see that happen to somebody? No. <laughs> Like, God, God had to cover, go in the room. God covered me. I, I, I've so it's seen, hearsay also for I've you. I've seen like black orgies with 
fucking rock star. I'm not going to name their names. Right, but I don't want you to. I seen all that shit, but that's this okay. rock star, whatever. And I always left 20 minutes, 30 minutes for the devil get there. Right. Wow. As Denzel just, said. Yeah, 30, million, 30 minutes for the devil get there. And, and even when I tried to stay, God will always kick me out. Mm -hmm. I never did the orgy parties, none of that shit, man. That, that shit's crazy. And it's like that. Now, it was funny. Even when I wanted to do it as a young kid to have fun, and the guy was like, nigga, go home. So I was called. Got no, for real. That's good. I'm like, can I go? No, no, no. You're not. The, the exact words, you're not one of us. Wow. What does that mean? I mean, who's us? Nigga, I'm not, nigga I'm, I just killed the show. <laughs> Who was us? God had other plans. So he said, one security guard said to me, you're not one of us. Go home. I'm like, who's us? The other one, I'm trying to fuck some bitches too. I'm 19. Yeah, mm -hmm. yo. you know what I mean. So that always stuck with me when he said that. But no, I, I never done sexual favors for for. That's why I don't care. It was the whole on screen stuff. I know what I do off screen. You saw, you saw, you saw the call I had. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You need some money. Let's get it. The kids telling Let's me, hey dad, that's, that's who I really am. Y'all can have this image, this matrix image. This, I, no, I do these podcasts so y'all can know who I am. Right. That's Brandon. Because right. I can write my story on some, oh, he did this, he did that, he did this. Okay, yeah, 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 calm down. I've never done any sexual favors for any parts. I'm just talented and anointed by God to do what I need to do. And I'm going I'm, I'm to boast on his mercies and grace, not on myself. And it doesn't close any doors from you. No. Why should it? Because a lot it? of actors and actresses, they're scared that Why? if they don't do this, then because, I can't get this. Because you don't know how to make righteous sacrifices, selfless sacrifice, fast and praying, doing things you don't want to do. 24-day fast, 40-day fast. Maha, uh, uh, let's, let's go here. Uh, 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 Nelson Mandela and Gandhi fasted the same time before they got out of jail. God can make ways out of nowhere. Everybody wants to talk about what the devil can do. What can God do? God can make me a billionaire. I know I'm a billionaire. Do yeah, I care about it? I mean, you know I'm a billionaire when I don't care about it. I don't care about being a billionaire because it's all fake. But I'll be a billionaire just so I can bless people. And I know that. But I'm a billionaire. My son going to be a billionaire. Because we, we made our prices with God. Mm -hmm. It's so simple. Go on 10-day fast. Wow. Thank you so much for coming on the show, man. We love you, brother. You see how you cut me off when I got deep? See, that's <laughs> no, 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 no. We got to get you out of here from what I'm, I'm hearing. I'm trying to get the people hearing, to understand how I'm to get I'm hearing it. from the back that I got to get you out of here. I, I'm trying to I make sure they I talked to you all night. Brother, we are amazing. First of all, let me tell you. <laughs> amazing time. Man. I'm trying to get people to see how to get it. Besides the quote, unquote, the Illuminati, nigga. Illuminati got no God will if you fight with God, he'll fight with you, and then the Illuminati will bow to God. How about that? That's B. That's a that's a new one. That's huge. The Illuminati thank you, Father. The Illuminati will bow to the Almighty. Man. Thank you so that's much. That's what I need to say. Man, thank you so much, man. We love you, brother. Um, hey, man, I know you coming back to Boss Talk 101. I'm going. I'm coming up to Detroit. Come through. I'm coming and see you. I'm coming to the studio. I'm coming and set up. I'm coming to hang out. I'm telling you now, because I do. Will I do it mm -hmm. on my I own? Believe you, I believe you. On my own, it. I'll come up there. So, I do it all the time. I need you to come up. I need, I need you to come up to the show. Okay. This weekend. <laughs> like, I got it. I, yeah. yeah but, okay. Uh, you got. I got. I got to come. I come to everybody's show. If you tell me to be there, I'm coming. Let me know. I'm gonna give you tickets. I'm coming. Come through. Me and my wife. And, and tell all, all all the audience to come through because I the way I speak here is funnier. Of course, I spoke a little deep. <laughs> No, we got something. I'm always so deep. When you on the stage, you don't do the oh, deep. Better come on with. I go deep, but I'm funnier. Okay. I'm gonna have fun because I like because the first person, the comedian I've ever seen go deep was who. Aunt Eddie Griffin. Eddie Griffin. Yeah, yeah, that's my yeah. boy. I love yeah. Eddie. I love Eddie. Eddie Shout out to you, bro. I don't go as deep as Eddie because it, it becomes. I um, love it. I've never seen comedians go deep till I saw him. Because comedians are deep. Because God uses us to, to to do what we do. But can we shout out to Eddie Griffin? But I don't go that deep. I'm yeah. actually, you be like, who's this guy? I'm actually more fun right. on stage. Man. Okay. Podcast, I'd be like, and another thing, <laughs> my shirt off is because God said, you're like, <laughs> what about the voice? Do you still do that voice? Which uh, one? The one when you was in, at, in Big Mama House. Was that real? How hard was that doing that voice? That's that's an interesting question. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, that's an interesting question. Um, I, you know, it's funny. I, I was thinking about doing that voice for my girl characters, and uh, when I play my my girlfriends and my stay, yeah. and it, it doesn't sit right with me. It don't sit right. But, some, with but, some, but sometimes I I do slip into the uh, the the, the um, um, character to um, portray my sisters. 
Okay. Oh, okay. come on, aunties. You know what I mean? Something like that. Something like that. Like, you know, I try to, like, because if, you, if you're doing, or your, or your ex-girlfriend, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's, it's, it's definitely, I, I thought about that too. I was like, yo, where does voice come up? And I was just like, how do Detroit, how do Detroit women sound? How do, how do my sister sound? I just listen to that. Yeah, yeah, tonality. You know what I'm so, saying? Yeah. But um, don't cut it where I said I slip into the voice, please. <laughs> <laughs> Got you, man. You overthinking it. No, I, no, I have to. Yeah. These, I know your blog is integral, but sometimes they be like, yo, that's going to give me likes. No. no. I know y'all. I know. Not boss talk. Boss talk can take it all down. Boss talk can shut it down. No, I already know. I, I didn't research. I know, I know. Because God been good to me, man. No, I know. I, I did, did my, I did my research. I wouldn't have done it if I felt that. Yeah. But sometimes I say that because it's, it's almost insecurity because I've seen people do it. twist my words. Yeah. Like, common act. They twist a lot of, like, I've they. I've seen that. Like, Brandon's response. I'm like, that's old. Like, yeah. this is how they move it around. Well, one thing about it, you know, you can always put that call in. But once it's out there, it's out there, too, though. I know. That's, that's the right. whole band and thing. I, and that's why I'm saying what I'm saying. Man, thank you so much for coming on the show. We love you, Brandon. You family now. We did a great show. Love you so we much. We did what we had to do. I hope you got what you got. I we got, got what, what I got. We got what we got. It's going down, y'all. Get out there to the improv in yes. Arlington, Texas. Let's get it popping. Boss Talk 101, what a boss is talk. And we out. <laughs> Love you. <laughs>